good morning. Standing on the scale, 228. Now those that know me know that back at the beginning of December, um, last year I was 250. I got the diabetes. Um, just a pill form. But, uh, in December 1st, 3rd, whatever, my A1C was 10, which meant that it had progressed to the point where the doctor was talking about having to start doing the insulin needles, and I said, hell no, I'm not doing that. So I decided to lose some weight. So that's, uh, that's 20, it's 22 pounds. And I had my uh, A1C checked about three or four weeks ago, and it was down to 7.1. So, um, how did I lose the weight? I cut out all bread and all pasta, two of my favorite things. So, December, January, February, and here we are in March, and I've probably cut 99% of the bread out. So, anyway, it's got nothing to do with the trailer build, but there you go. Now I'm making a pot of coffee. It's daylight savings time, so it is 5.40 in the morning. And my tasks today are to finish up my, uh, Miss Miss Kitty. My tasks today are to not finish up, but to get my uh, my electronics uh, wall. I'll be putting my switches in for my <coughs> uh, tank heaters that I put in yesterday. I've got them installed under my fresh tanks. I've got one installed under my gray tank that I did yesterday and my black tank. And these extra switches on the ends are going to be for the elbows. Um, and I think, I think they are somewhere. Of course, I can't seem to put my finger on them at the moment, but uh, anyway, I, I think they're out in the trailer, maybe. I don't know if they're on the table or not. I don't think so. But anyway, uh, <coughs> when I install my, my, my valves for emptying my gray and black tanks, there's, uh, there's these heater strips or whatever that you wrap around them. Anyway, these will be the on off switches for those. Okay. Now the heat pads themselves have thermostats built into them and they come on at a certain temperature and go off on a certain certain temperature but uh it's, it's in the manual and i can't remember what they were but i will uh i'll get that information and write it down but but these switches will allow me to just go ahead and turn them on and turn them off so remember everything's about energy conservation when you're boondocking um you know, not that if it's 20 below, you'd want to turn off your heat pads, but, um, you know, if it's above freezing and anyway, if you're trying to conserve energy, you need to be able to shut everything off individually. Okay. So that's going to go on my electronics wall by the door there, that, that box that I built. And this is my hot water, uh, tankless hot water here, um, control panel. So that'll be mounted there as well. And I've got a, I've got a switch here for the, uh, uh, the instructions talked about an on off switch separate from the one that was on the hot water tankless uh, system. Cause there's a on off switch there as well. But they said, you know, an option would be to have another switch to turn it off but you know I'm seeing this this control panel's got a it's got a power that's what that red I think that's yeah on off so I'm not sure what the that may just be to turn off this unit but 
Anyway, so I have that switch to mount, well, if I need it, I assume I do, to uh, turn off the tankless hot water heater, you know, just shut it down. Um, so I'm going to try to get those mounted today. Uh, I have my LPG uh, monitor out in the trailer. I'm going to be installing that today because I plan to also hook up the propane to the refrigerator, the stove, the um, tankless hot water heater, and the furnace. So I'm going to try to get those done today too. Um, and I've got a couple of miscellaneous switches that I have to, to install. This will also go into the... Uh, on the control wall as well in the control panel um, so that when you first walk in the trailer you can start turning on some lights if you want so I'll put that over here as well and I'm gonna try to wire the 110 to the AC get that line run may not hook it up but I'm gonna get it run anyway um, yesterday I got the outlets I'm sorry, the wall built for the, uh, hey, there I am, for the uh, um, the, the behind the shower there, that wall's done, so I can go ahead and put those outlets in. The bathroom outlet I can go ahead and put in, um, and I want to put some plywood underneath the vanity uh, cabinet to cover up the back of the shower. Now, I'm putting those in so that um, if I ever need to pull them out, they're just, it's just going to be screwed in so that I can, uh, so that I can uh, you know, do any work that might need to be done back there. No big deal. I can get to all the pipes and everything. So, All right, I'm going to have me a cup of coffee, and I'll be back. All right. Put some... Uh, Put some water in the tanks to uh, test out the pump and the uh, tank monitors. All right. So you can see they go up into this conduit right here, which comes out here. And it goes up and into the roof and down to the uh, to where the switch is. And I'll take you up there in a second. Um, what else? What else did I do back here? Mm. Okay, I did take a bunch of videos today, but for some fucking reason it didn't. Didn't save them or whatever. I don't know. Something weird. But, uh, um, and I don't, I think I, I think I got this part where I've got the uh, tank monitors or the fresh tank monitors are working. Um, I installed my, uh, flush out. Uh, hose I've just got it wire tied right around there that will connect to a, uh, a splitter and then go to the various uh, various tank points um, Make this a short video to try to recap what I did today. What the heck happened? Well, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Um, <coughs> this morning I put uh, put the outlets put the outlets in for the uh, TV wall on this wall. That wall is ready for. Uh, a TV mount and to put the tongue and groove on. Uh, we're totally 100% on the batteries. 
Uh, let's take a look. Yep, we're 100% on the batteries. Uh, got a couple of days. I still would like to do that. Uh, when you look down in there, you see the see the drain going down the toilet. And, uh, looks pretty good. Bit. about it I kind of took it easy today and just did like little uh, little projects oh I came in here to show you the, I hooked up the uh, temporary right next to the awning switches this is the uh, tank monitor and if you watch closely batteries are full fresh tank is empty fresh two is empty and the other two aren't hooked up yet and that's the water pump. It's all hooked up. All this stuff is ready to go in to the electronics box. Once the countertop goes in, I just don't want it in the way. Plus, I want to put it in a specific spot. And sure as shit, I put it in a specific spot and then it doesn't work. All right. Thanks for watching if you watched and uh, like the video or subscribe to the channel. And if you don't, whatever. Don't like the video, whatever. Talk to you later.